Hi you guys, it's Lisa. Thanks for stopping at my channel. Today we're going to do um, the art journal books that you've been asking for. I wanted to show you a couple of these old ones. These two that I have here are made with wallpaper and I've worked in one and um, it's falling apart a little bit and I'll explain why it's falling apart in a little bit here. But here's another wallpaper one and this is how I made that just out of a wallpaper book. You can ask some of the um, wall covering stores if they have any and usually they'll give them to you if they're done with them. Well this one here on top that I showed you with the black edge I'm going to actually give away. And right there, this one. So I'm going to give that one away. Just have to comment if you want it. The first one that comments below is going to receive it. Um, here is the books that I made with the jelly plate prints. That's hard to say. So I wanted to show you, I just have a few things in this one here. These adorable faces I cut out of magazines and just a little bit of texture but this one I haven't really started on and this one here we've been working on the background so just a quick flip through here and I'm going to show you today how to make them a lot of you wanted to know how and it's really not hard so I'll show you the supplies that I have here I have a whole bunch of jelly plate prints that I've made previously and here are the two jelly plates that I have. I have a 6x6 six six square. You can see it's been well used and this is what a jelly plate looks like. Real squishy. I'll have them linked below in the description if you're interested in purchasing one and um, after this video a little bit down the line I'll show you how to actually make some jelly print plate prints this is an 8x10 this is my larger one of course and I recently um, just ordered a couple of more jelly plates and I will show you them when I get them so I just wanted to show you what a jelly plate was. So I have the two of them there. Make sure that you um, always store them flat. Don't store them standing upright because you'll wreck them. Good tip to know. So here are my um, prints that I have. We're going to use some heavier cardstock and we're going to use a ruler and a pencil. And we're going to cut these down with my trimmer and we're just going to make a smaller one like the one that we've been working in doing the backgrounds I think that's a good size and I have some prints here that'll get us started now these two pink ones are from a magazine and they are on heavier duty or paper and here's some just plain card and these are just prints that are on some um, tissue paper and the others are on printer paper so I'm going to have to put them on some heavy-duty cardstock so that all of those are going to be working together here is what I do with my scraps from my jelly plates I don't throw those away I actually die cut out of them so let's get started. I'm trying to figure out what size we're going to want to make and I figured that we're going to do a six by five and a half and that's this small one. Super cute size. One that you can put in your purse, take with you if you want to art journal on the go. And that's just what I came up with. So I'm going to cut my papers so that it will be six by five and a half and I will work on that and I will come right back and I'll show you what to do next.
All right, so we've got these all cut out to six by five and a half. These are the thinner ones, and I'm going to adhere those onto that heavier cardstock. We're going to make this size here. I think that's a good size to start with. And this is one I haven't really played in much yet. Here is the scraps from the papers, and I'm showing you which papers I'm going to save and which papers I'm going to throw. The paper on the right is going to be save and on the left is going to be throw. We can cut lots of flowers and embellishments out of these great pieces, so be careful what you throw away. I think we have some great scraps and here again is the flowers that you can use these papers for. All right, so we're going to have to make sure we have these um, all folded and I'm going to use a bone folder to do so and you want to be pretty um, accurate. You don't want to be sloppy when you're doing this because if you are, they will become um, like they're falling apart like that one that I had in the previous and here I'm using a glue stick and putting down those thinner prints that were made with the printer paper. So I'm going to quick go ahead and adhere all of those together just to make them thicker. All right, so I've got them all now, and I thought I would make two books, but in the end, I only made the one. I made it just a little bit thicker with more signatures, and um, that's what these pages are called. They call them signatures. You put them together, and you make the pages of the book. So I separated them, and I really didn't need to. Again, I'm showing you the scraps. I was looking for something that would look nice for the cover. And these are the ones I picked out and set aside just to think about while I'm creating the art journal book. Okay, so you fold them in half with the print side in and you give them a good press with the bone folder. And go ahead and do all of them. Okay, so I have them folded, and now I'm going to stand them up on the edge. And if you don't do these accurate, it ends up to look like that um, art journal that's kind of falling apart. So I'm using my tape runner, and you can use that um, roll of double-sided adhesive if you would like. I just knew that I didn't have very much of that left, so I wanted to stick with one type. I'm going to go ahead and put them all together, and here's what it looks like. Just a quick flip through for you. Got some great patterns in here. And it looks like a real nice journal. So I'm standing it up on end, and this is actually um, athletic tape you can use athletic tape to do the book binding of course if you have book binding use book binding but i did not have any i'm going to make it super super sturdy and i'm using my matte gel and i'm getting in all of those gro grooves there with my matte gel so that it has a real good adhesion and then your book won't fall apart so I'm going to also put some on the edges where the athletic tape is going to go so that it sticks down real good. I'm pushing it down onto my work surface and rolling it right over and just pushing it down with my hands. Trimming off those edges. Super quick and easy. And then this is the piece that I decided I was going to use for the cover. I liked all the colors that were in it. So I'm cutting it in half. I'm going to put down my 
matte gel and these two are going to be the covers give it a nice thick coat don't worry about um, using too much because you want this to adhere down real well get all the way to the edge there we go that looks like a nice cover and then we're going to use this for the back so that they match there that's super cute and it looks real good now I'm using those clips and I'm giving them a good tight squeeze and I'm going to leave them sit like that overnight so here I wanted to show you another little project that kind of goes along with this this is a little binder that I'm putting together and I got a bunch of stuff at a clearance store and I didn't have any more of those little folders to put in there so I was going to measure the one that came with the uh, binder and I wanted to make some make one more and I wanted to use this really heavy duty um, watercolor paper that I had in my stash I'm really trying to use up the things um, things in my stash so I went ahead and measured it so that it was going to work and I'm gonna go eight by seven and a half I'm using my score buddy which I couldn't get the thing off so I'm just using a um, score tool there and I'm going to measure it at four so it's in half and these edges I think I'm actually gonna make some bookmarks out of so we'll see if I go ahead and do that if I do I'll show you what I came up with and I decided I was going to make six different signatures there and then I cut them all the same there they are and I decided that I was going to use this stapler and try and Get them to um, adhere together in the middle, flipping them over, having a hard time with the staples there, but in the end it worked and it'll be fine if we have to take them apart because I am going to use my jelly plate and I'm going to decorate these and make them into a calendar type journal thing for in this uh, binder So I'm just going to take one of these elastic bands and put it right in there and How neat is that? I Hope you like this and now you know how to make those little journals. So um, I Will make sure I show you how to make those jelly print Jelly prints and we will work on that together. Here's the art journal that I'm gonna give away. Like I said, the first one to comment on my channel will be getting that one. I will send it out to you. And here's some pictures. I hope you like it. Stay tuned and we will get together another Saturday and see what we work on then. Thanks so much.